A nurse who had just left work was rushed right back to the hospital. Police say she was killed by a felon on probation who was driving while intoxicated. It happened at the intersection of Dickerson Pike and Old Hickory Boulevard, not far from Skyline Medical Center. Now her friends and family want answers. Why was he even allowed another chance at life? You know, why was he even allowed to be in the public? News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen is taking a deeper look at their concerns. And she talked to a local attorney who says state laws were followed. Skyline nurse Amber Brockett saved lives only to have hers taken moments after leaving the hospital. Police say convicted felon James Jones was likely driving while intoxicated. And Heather Thompson is furious. She's a good soul and she was a good person that had a purpose on this earth and I mean, he, he didn't. Jones is facing a slew of charges, including vehicular homicide and being a felon with a weapon. He was on probation for some lesser charges after serving four years for reckless homicide. He killed a teen unintentionally in 2015. You just feel lost. You really do. And you just sit there and think what could have happened differently. I took her concerns to attorney David Rabin. Part of Jones's reckless homicide sentence was served under the community corrections program. And this particular program is sort of intense. But then this document states Jones was switched to the Department of Probation in 2016. Currently, they're short around 200 probation officers. We don't have enough probation officers. They're not even sometimes not even going to the probation office or I've heard probation officers go by and wave at the person to make sure they're home because they're so afraid of uh, contact with COVID, that kind of thing. Raven says sometimes red flags are missed. But I think that if there's any lesson in this is that we need to monitor the folks more intensely. And if they fail at even an intermittent level of rehabilitation, then they're put back into custody. If Jones is convicted, he will serve his full sentence in prison due to a new law. Meanwhile, loved ones will continue to grieve Amber's death. She definitely had a heart of gold. Reporting in Asheville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Police say Jones was also driving without insurance. He's been released from TriStar Skyline Medical Center after being treated and is back behind bars. There's a hearing regarding the case scheduled for Monday.